Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Professor Kenneth Dickstein. I'm uh, here with the current president of the uh, Heart Failure Association in Amsterdam, the ESC meeting. And I have a few minutes to let Stefan tell us about the issues that he thinks are uh, most essential for us to discuss. I'd like to start with, uh, actually I'd like to start with the next Congress, our Congress, which is uh, in Athens. Lisbon was very successful. I think that's the feedback we get. Uh, can you tell us something about the plans and your expectations for Athens? Thank you, Kenneth, uh, for giving me the opportunity to speak a little bit about the Heart Failure Association of the ESC, which now is an association with more than 8,000 members and really very strong and uh, very much fast developing into the, I would say, the premier organization on heart failure in the world. Indeed, our Congress in Lisbon was a great success. Uh, well above 4,000 participants from, I think, like 80 or 90 countries. And this made it a true international, like, world Congress on heart failure. And we want to repeat and even extend this success in Athens next year by going really from prevention to treatment to then also device approaches uh, in heart failure and so really want to cover the whole spectrum of heart failure care for healthcare professionals from all groups. I think that's well said because heart failure covers a lot of different disciplines. It's, it's not a technique like many of the other associations and I think that many of us are involved in uh, you know, all the diverse aspects of this. Um, you've been a real fan and put a lot of energy into uh, the online education uh, offer. Can you describe our status now with that, Stefan? We have, uh, thank you. This is really an initiative to try to get uh, value for our members, try to really extend also into the new media by, by having educational offers that give you accredited uh, CME points associated education uh, on ha aspects of heart failure that is really ranging on all sorts of topics. At this moment we have six modules online. Each of them is specifically produced for the internet one hour long and gives you a full uh, education in heart failure aspects like symptoms, like how to use diuretics or ACE inhibitors and beta blockers. Simple things, but then also advanced issues, how to take care of certain comorbidities. This is a combination of uh, using cases of some form of knowledge transfer, um, like lectures associated with multiple choice questions, but then really also expert statements and videos. Specifically, as I said, done for the internet. We want to develop this into a big uh, series of modules. By the end of next year it will be more than 20. We partly get grant support uh, from uh, different parties, uh, but this will be independently all uh, checked for consistency of data and independence. And we are using also a lot of our own uh, resources uh, to support this initiative. So really, uh, one shouldn't underestimate uh, what kind of size of investment. Do you see this, this as a, uh, providing any type of accreditation to the candidates, like in ECHO or the EP guys? Or Accreditation is, of course, a long-term goal. Mm -hmm. And you know, of course, all the uh, political and, and also legal kind of implication this may have in the long run. Uh, at this moment, it is certification mm -hmm. and maybe at some stage using our curriculum that we have developed it might turn into accreditation but this will be for some presidents that will follow me uh, their big job then to push through. Okay thank you very much Stefan I really appreciate the, the opportunity to hear your thoughts on these issues. Take thank care. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> ESC Congress 365 is your free access to ESC Congress content all year long.